Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the fourth problem of late code weekly contest 374, which is count the number of infection sequences. Uh, so, what is the problem? We are given an integer n and a zero indexed integer array C, which is sorted in increasing order. So, uh, there are n children standing in queue with position zero uh, to n minus one assigned to them. Okay. So, what is the problem in a formal way? Let me explain that. So, uh, okay. So there are uh, in uh, people or in children uh, which is standing in ascending order. So 0, 1, 2, let's assume n equals to 5. Okay, n equals to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now there is another array seek. There is another array seek of L integers. You can say uh, here for the first example uh, seek is 0 and 4. So 0 uh, children and 4 children is seek. So this and this children are sick so what could happen any children can uh, affect affect its uh, neighboring children like one could infect uh, zero could infect one or four could infect three now at a particular time only one child can be infected so uh, let's say uh, initially zero and four are infected now at the time equals to zero let's say now time at time equals to one either two uh, sorry either one or either three could be infected so let's say two becomes infected at the first time now at t equals to two at t equals to two uh, now two is in uh, sorry uh, not two where is this so at t equals to one one could be infected or three could be infected so let, let's assume one is infected now at t equals to two now four could infect three right four could infect three and this one could infect two so uh, either two or three could be infected so let us assume that three is infected now at t equals to three only one ch child is remaining and that child is two this is one possible way one three two is one possible way now another possible way is that uh, at uh, t equals to one three becomes infected and at t equals to two two becomes infected and at t equals to three one becomes infected so there are four possible combinations here uh, you can check that uh, the infection sequence could be 312 or uh, 132 or uh, or uh, 321 like that so there are four uh, type of in infection sequences and another infection sequence is 123 so the four infection sequences are what 123 312 132 and 321 right so the answer is four here so uh, Let's uh, jump into the constants before uh, going into the solution approach. So here n could be at max 10 to the power 5. So any solution involving uh, order of n or order of n log n will be accepted, right? So now this problem is uh, kind of permutations combinations or you can say counting type of problem, right? So uh, let's assume some kind of uh, graph. For, this, this is kind of a BFS, right? Like let's say initially zero and four are infected. Then uh, in the, at the second level, there are one and three. And at the third level, there is two, right? So, uh, and there could be, let's say uh, another integer seven is here. Now, uh, four, zero, four, seven are infected at first. Similarly, there will be, uh, this is five and this is six, right? This is another portion. So you can say there is some part of graph here uh, and some part of uh, path graph or linear graph here. So there are there could be uh, if there are three um, in number of thick pairs here, then there could be uh, uh, in plus two number of this linear graphs, right? So let's say there is uh, C carry is one, three, five, and uh, there are seven children. So there could be some part of linear graph from 0 to 1. There could be some part of linear graph from 1 to 3. There could be some part of linear graph from 3 to 5. Similarly from 5 to 7, right? So there, uh, there could be n plus 1, sorry, not n plus 2. There could be n plus 1 number of linear graphs, right? So let's solve the problem. Like let's count how many possible way of infections for a, uh, a particular linear graph. So let's consider for uh, this 0 to 4. For 1 2 3 right so here you can say that uh, the first infect, uh, infection could be at either possible in 3 or 1 
so what are the uh, number of possible ends for a linear graph there are two uh, number of uh, ends for a uh, <coughs> for a linear graph so there are two uh, ends and uh, after one is infected what is the remaining number of elements in the graph the remaining number of elements in the graph is n minus 1 so uh, we can say that if the uh, infections of n we can write it as in uh, sorry 2 into infection of n minus 1 right 2 into inf infection of n minus 1 where infection of 1 infection of 1 could be 1 so the uh, formula for this infection of n for a linear graph will be 2 to the power n minus 1 so for 1 2 3 i have already explained the total number of answer here is 4 for the first case because the formula for uh, this will be 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is equals to 4 now there is a special case here what is the special case let's say uh, there are five number of children and the first infection uh, infected children is three so there are zero one two three elements here but here you can see there is only uh, there is a single infected uh, what i can say single infected in for this so there is only one possible uh, uh, infection sequence here that will be two one zero right so that is the case so if there are two uh, infected ends like for this uh, 0 and 4 are two infected uh, ends then the formula will be 2 to the power n minus 1 and if there is only one infected sequence like this then the formula will be 1 okay now this is uh, for a particular uh, linear portion of the graph now what will be uh, the what will be the possibility uh, for arranging this linear graphs between them right so there are three type of linear graphs right the first one from 1 to 3 the second one from 5 to 6 and third one 8 to 9 right so uh, we can arrange them uh, arrange this uh, in wh what what is the count the count will be the total number of uh, total number of elements in the three graphs combined which is 8 factorial but we can't arrange uh, this 1, 2, 3 between them or this 5, 6 between them or this 8, 9 between them. So, uh, uh, the formula will be 8 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 factorial into 2 factorial. Okay, I hope you got it. So, let's say uh, there are some groups. Uh, I think you all know this. There are some groups of R1, R2 and R3 and order Rn. So the total number of possible uh, arrangement will be summation of ri factorial and product of ri factorial right this is the uh, known uh, arrangement so that's uh, that is the thing we are applying here now let's jump into the code so here i am already computing uh, factorial of i uh, inverse factorial of i for calculating this uh, division and uh, power of i th that will contain 2 to the power i right now we are appending sig dot append n uh, for the for the ins right we are appending 0 and n now uh, if i equals to equals to 0 or i equals to equals to n that means that we are at some kind of n and we will have only one infected n so the, our uh, uh, c means the total number of infected uh, child in the in the subgraph or you can say here it uh, c will be 3 right now uh, for uh, for a particular end our answer will be answer into inverse of c right so what we are doing let's say uh, we have three uh, c number of infected childs here so what we are doing we are just uh, dividing it by 1 by c factorial okay that's what i am doing here answer into inverse of c now if the two ends are infected then i have already told the formula is 2 to the power n minus 1 that's what we are doing here we are doing answer equals to answer into 2 to the power c minus 1 into 1 by c factorial right and at the end we are uh, in, in we are uh, multiplying it by the summation of n i which is the total number of non-infected child at first which is equals to n minus l so we are in, uh, multiplying it by n minus l factorial I hope you got my explanation. If you have any doubt in any part of the video, you can write in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every comment. I will also provide the link of the code in the description box. Uh, if you find this video uh, helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.